today on Men Are So Smart, things that you should always splurge on. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the quality is better than the quantity. And today, we're going to share those with you next. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. And we are, we prove that every show. I do. Well, well, not, not, not really. Never, we never have. Uh, today on the show, some things that when it comes to purchasing, being a consumer, you want to splurge on, you don't want to skimp and get something crappy. Consumers spend a lot of time on price comparisons and looking for the best deals while shopping. This is a great practice and can help you save lots of money. However, there are some things that you should definitely splurge on. In these cases, it is important not to sacrifice quality to save a few bucks. Yep. Here comes our list, Ronnie. Okay. First one, mm -hmm. pillows. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You spend half your life in bed. Yeah. Or two-thirds, in my case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, when it comes to throw or decorative <laughs> pillows, look for sales and bargains. But... When shopping for pillows that you sleep on, mm -hmm. quality is important. Yeah. Uh, if you're lucky, you're going to spend about one third of your life in bed. With the hectic lives everyone is leading today, good sleep is important. So spend a little more on this essential. You know, I got my last pillows at Costco. They are bamboo stuffed, uh, apparently. I love them. I really? love them. Yeah, they're. Are they firm? They're bamboo. I, yeah, it's it's like shaved bamboo or something or bamboo. I don't know what the how the hell they do it, but they are very. They're not super firm. I kind of like a medium kind of I, pillow. I mean, me too. Yeah. Yeah, something that gives me a little support. But the greatest thing is like in the summer, uh -huh. no sweat. Uh, yeah, because I I do I'm a I'm a hot sleeper. So well, you're as cool as the other side of your pillow. <laughs> yeah. All right, on our list of things you should splurge on, <clears throat> kind of funny that I get this one, headphones. Yeah. Um, having done radio for a long time, headphones are kind of like a hammer would be to a carpenter. Yep. you got to have good headphones, and there are some that I like to use. Sure, you can buy the inexpensive headphones at the grocery store, for that matter. Yeah. Uh, but chances are, they aren't going to last very long. Not to mention the sound quality isn't going to blow your socks off. And there's nothing like a good sock blowing. <laughs> Take the time to research quality headphones and splurge on a great pair. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. I use Sony's. Ooh, I Sony's. use Bose. Uh, okay. I love my Bose and they're expensive too. Yeah, and in doing so will probably save you money in the long run because you won't be replacing junky headphones all the time. And you know what? I, Along the same lines as uh, uh, headphones, sunglasses. Oh, boy. Here's the thing. Yep. Um, I wear quality sunglasses. My eyes are so light sensitive that if it's daytime, the chances are I have my sunglasses on. Okay? So, here's the thing. I spend a good amount of money on them because I take care of them. Right. And I don't lose them. Look, this is the perfect example right here, Ronnie. Yep. I have... Uh, a case for both my, my prescription glasses and for my sunglasses. I keep them in here. I keep them buzzed up. They, it, it, this is a hard case. You take care of them. You put them in this thing. You don't lose them. Yep. The same thing with headphones. Okay. Boy, how many sunglasses did I sit on in my lifetime? You get out, you toss them on the seat of your car. Yep. And get back in. Crunch. Oh, oh no. My favorite is when you leave them in the car and it's 107 degrees outside and oh, you yeah. put them on. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah, <laughs> the sizzling of bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, next one, your vision. Uh -huh. Now I have not really, I haven't had my eyes checked in so long, mm. but I can see pretty amazing still. <laughs> well, you have to see well to be a cop, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I can read a license plate from probably thirty yards away. Well, so I, I can't even see the one. But in front it's of me. the up close stuff, the mm. small little print. Yeah, that's that's where I have problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, corrective eye surgery can cost a pretty penny, but most people who have had it believe that it's the best money they've ever spent. Uh, check out eye surgeons in your area, save some money, treat yourself to the gift of perfect sight. You won't regret it. Um, I have noticed that my eyes are 
getting increasingly worse. Yeah. And you know what happened with this pair of glasses right here, and, and they work well, don't, don't get me wrong. I have very bad vision in my left eye, or I'm sorry, in my right eye, and my left eye is, is getting worse and worse. But what happened was I had my eye test done, and then I didn't get these glasses for like a year. Oh. I just didn't get around to it. And so your prescription can change in that time. Yeah, and that's what happened. So yep. my bifocals are not quite strong enough, but the prescription, this eye needs to be stronger. But yeah, you know what? Here's what I recommend. Spend good money on um, the eye test, see a great doctor, and then get your glasses at Costco. Right. They've got great, and you know what? You don't even have to be a member to buy glasses at really? Costco. Really? Yeah. I did if not If you're know there that. for a prescription, they will let you right in. I'll be damned. Yep. Next up, tattoos. This is a sore subject with me. Yeah. Because you're a big tattoo guy. Uh -huh. If you choose to get a tattoo, cheap is not the way to go. <laughs> Stay in your lane, bro. <laughs> Inexp uh -oh. Inexpensive tattoos are a non-starter. You'll want to look for a quality tattoo artist at a reputable establishment to do your ink. After all, it is something that'll be on your body forever. So when considering body ink, you're going to want to splurge. And they're not cheap. No, well, I'll tell you where you can get the cheapest tattoos. Where's that, Ron? Go to your local prison. Okay. Just get incarcerated uh -huh. for maybe a year. A year, you say? You'll get a mm -hmm. really nice tattoo. Tattoo. Yep. Got it. Yep. I am not That's a, a fan. a little tip for okay. me and you. Pro tip. I am not a fan of tattoos. And you know, much as I hate to say it, not that I'm in the market, <laughs> but when it comes to women, it's a deal breaker for me. I, I'm i sorry. It's just me. No offense to you if you have tattoos. Trust me. It's just that I like women to be a little more effeminate. Yeah. And I think that that's kind of hard, a tattoo. And that's I'll tell you, me. my daughter got a tattoo. And when she told me about it, I'm like, oh, man, there we go. Mm -hmm. But what she got is on the backside right by her Achilles, basically. Ooh, that sounds painful. And it's a little pink bow uh -huh. that you could only see, like, if she's wearing high heels, it's right, just right above where the back of the high heel comes uh -huh. up. One side, very small. Okay, you know what? That's not terrible. That's, you know, it's not like some face tattoo. Or it's a gateway tattoo. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> right. She's had it for 10 years. Right, so. Greg? <laughs> yeah, Greg. Uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. Marijuana. Mm, uh, gateway. But anyway, so yeah, I guess if she had to have a tattoo, that's probably the best one to get. Today we're talking about things that you should really splurge on. It's worth spending the extra cash for. Next up is cleaning services, Ron. Yeah, have a house cleaning service. Uh, can seem kind of like a luxury to some people. Mm -hmm. I know it would be to me. Me too. Uh, but it can be very beneficial to your everyday life. Mm -hmm. Having the peace of mind that you're going to come home to a clean house once or twice a month is invaluable. Not to mention the amount of time you'll save cleaning your place. Look at your budget and see if you can afford it. You know, not always, not everybody can. Maybe if you have somebody that already has one, get a referral from them if they have somebody that they like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um yeah, uh, I I have trouble with that. People invading my space, looking at my things. Yeah, that's just me. Uh, okay, reusable water bottles. Oh, spend the money. Yep. Uh, this is an investment that not only saves but helps save the environment. The money you save by not using single-use plastic water bottles is more than enough to cover the cost of a high-quality reusable bottle. Um, and you know you want to get one of those bottles that keeps the hot stuff hot and the cold stuff cold. That's my recommendation. I just want to know how does the bottle know? Uh, how do it know? <laughs> Bless I'll <you>. tell you. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Anything can happen, and usually does. <laughs> we live in Sacramento. <laughs> oh, the pollen right now. Oh. It's my, so bad. My poor black truck is yellow. I, I sneeze so Ooh. loud, I made the dogs bark. <laughs> <laughs> we do this show from inside Ronnie's garage. Yes. That's what this is. Yeah. Look, I'm going to show you behind the curtain. Look. There's the man behind the Pay curtain. Pay no attention <laughs> to the man behind the garage door. <laughs> there. I've broken down the fourth wall uh, for you. Yep. All right. Next up. Okay. Next. Your, <laughs> your smile. Yeah. Invest a little bit. Uh, make sure you're going to the dentist every six months. I do that. 
Uh, it's also a good idea to invest in straightening or whitening your teeth. I won't do that. Uh, this is an area that you're going to want to splurge on. Not only will it make you more attractive, but it will boost your confidence immensely. Don't skip, skimp on these services. Quality is the key. Yeah, and so is a really great dentist. I love my dentist. Yeah, you know, yep. you've got to have somebody that's really gentle and soft. And I used to have a dentist um, that was a lady, and she was a former... Um, she, I think she was in the Air Force. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she, and, uh, she went over to Desert Storm. Oh, wow. She had to take time off from her practice. She was about five feet tall, but man, was she strong. <laughs> but soft at the same time. <laughs> Don't skimp on blank. TP. Oh, there you go. Toilet paper. Yep. Spend the extra money. Single ply toilet <sighs> paper. Who is that for? Yep. Whose ass is that for? You got to like use four times as much. Yep. Just to, oh my gosh. Quadruple it over, yeah. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know when you're not liked, when they're, you go into a house and it's single ply in the guest yeah, bathroom. I don't know what you're thinking. Yep. Uh, okay, right. this next one, uh, travel. Uh, yeah, I kind of get that. Traveling mm -hmm. is a wonderful thing to splurge on. Travel can open your eyes to parts of the world that you could have never dreamed of. Find somewhere that you want to visit, plan out your trip, and start saving. You'll never look back and say, I wish I wouldn't have gone on that awesome trip. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And we don't, Vicki and I don't travel enough. I really want to. She, you know, she's still working full time. I'm still working a day or two a week, mm. although I could take off anytime I want. Um, I would like to travel a little bit more. I'm not sure I want to go too far outside the United States. I'm, I like the, the stateside stuff. Yeah. And Hawaii. We've been to Hawaii. Yeah. Half that, a dozen times. That's and I my, love it there. That's my happy place. Yeah. There. Um, traveling. Wow. I love staying at nice hotels. Yeah. And people go, why do you spend so much money on a hotel? You're not going to be there. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go someplace else and stay in a room. <laughs> Same thing I do at home, yeah. just it's not as fancy. <laughs> Next up, things you want to splurge on, coffee, disagree. Um, That's why you go to work. Yeah. <laughs> Drink if, their coffee. If you love coffee, and I know I do. I don't. Consider spending a little extra on this daily necessity. You can try out different regions and types of coffee to keep things interesting, and you'll look forward to your first cup each morning. We were talking about Dutch Brothers, remember? Mm -hmm. Never yep. been there. <laughs> Never been there. But you've had their coffee. Oh, yeah, that's right. You bought it for me I one buy, day. I bought that's you a couple long cups. time ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I remember that. That's back the radio in your station. old radio studio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just a Folgers drinker. Uh, I'm not a coffee snob. Um, you know, I get it out of a can, and and that's fine for me. I, 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 just, I don't need an, a $12 drink. My mom drank Sanka. That's that's going way back. I don't yeah. even know if they make Sanka anymore. I think they do, Ron. Probably nobody out there knows what Sanka is, but it's... Instant coffee. Instant coffee. It's little crystals of coffee. <laughs> oh, the crystals. <laughs> you got to love the crystals. And it's not the richest kind. No, it no. is not the richest kind. <laughs> uh, next one. Now, I will attest to this. Mm. Winter wear. So, if you live somewhere it's cold in the winter or weather is part of your life... Quality winter gear is absolutely necessary. Uh, check out high quality brands and read reviews to find stuff that will suit your needs. You can spend a little bit more and know that it will last longer and you won't need to replace it every year. So working in patrol function, you're out there. Whatever the weather is, you're in it. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing worse than being cold when you're trying to deal with a Kind of a hazardous situation so whether it's a car accident or it's a domestic violence thing that you're dealing with you can't be distracted and i found i'm going to give them a little plug here it's super expensive but rei has the best winter wear i mean i always get the uh just their we obviously we have to wear a uniform but it's what goes underneath you know the uh thermals the thermals Holy cow, they're so nice. Yeah, are they uh, so affordable nice. there at REI? You know what? They're they're affordable, but it's definitely on the upper end of the scale. Mm. But I highly recommend them. 
man, I'm so toasty warm and I see other people shivering and I'm yeah. I'm just very comfortable. Well, along those same lines, uh, this is for both men and women. Sure, you can buy a whole pack of undergarments for pretty inexpensive, but they probably won't be very comfortable. Uh, and as almost every woman knows, cheap bras can be very uncomfortable. I know you struggle with that. Yes. Yeah. I, um, I'm not a big fan of the underwire. No. No. And uncomfortable. You know, you'll spend a few extra bucks on a bra. Oh, you? absolutely. Of course. And yep. I can see why. It's the bro. We call it the bro. The though. bra. Yeah, <laughs> the bra, duh. Duh. Uh, let's see, footwear. Yeah, cheap shoes. Uh, oh, oh, God, boy. if you're on your feet all day. This was my wife's undoing a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Quality footwear is going to be much more comfortable than the cheap stuff. The, that doesn't mean that you have to buy an unattractive pair of shoes just for the comfort. Shell out extra dough for shoes that won't give you blisters and look great. How do you know? Well, my wife knew immediately. She used to wear a lot of those uh, Keds. Oh, yeah, I remember Keds. A long time ago. No, no support inside, and she got uh, plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm. And it was way worse. It's painful. Trying to recover from that. We bought her a pair. She had to go get fitted for uh, inserts for her shoes. And then we bought her, started buying her for Christmas and her birthday, High quality shoes, it's gone. No problem. No got no problem. Yeah, the only thing worse than plantar fasciitis is gout. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, I struggled with that for a few years. Yes. Oh my god. When you get that in your feet and your toes, you can't even walk. It's unbearable. Trust me. Yep. You want to splurge on jeans. Pretty much everyone wears jeans. I've got them on right now. Me too. With so many inexpensive choices. It's easy to want to buy a cheap pair, but those lower quality jeans will only last a year or two max. Spending a little more on this wardrobe staple will save you money in the long run. Also, they are more likely to fit well and look better. And there's nothing that I enjoy more than a very attractive woman's behind in a pair of 501s. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that is the sexiest and a t-shirt. Oh, holy cow, Ron, yep. we got to end this show. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go well, somewhere. Do you remember those jeans? There was a pair of jeans, Jordache. Oh, yeah. I think they were the most flattering pair of jeans that a woman could ever own at that time. Mm -hmm. I I'm remember not, those. I'm not even sure they're around anymore. I don't think so. All right, this last one, uh -huh. your home. Yeah. Spend a little extra money on your home. Yep. A place of your own is probably the biggest splurge of all. Uh, spend... Spend time to save for a place that will work for you in the long term and has all of the basic features you want. Uh, if you want a condo and don't mind shared walls, great. If you want a detached home, save a little longer and go for it. Mm -hmm. Home ownership brings a lot of work, that's no doubt, uh, but also the joy of having a place that is 100% yours is priceless. Well... These are just some of the important items that you should spend a little extra cash on. Many of these things can be found cheap, but once you start to splurge on them, you'll wonder how you ever went without. A lot of time, uh, spending more at one time can save you money in the long run. Choose a few of these items to splurge on and see how you like it. You know what? I have one more that I'm going to throw in there. Okay. Tools. Oh, yeah. My dad used to always teach me that. <sighs> Man, Spend a little extra. Don't buy cheap tools because they always they break right when you need them the most. Mm -hmm. They break, and then you're kind of stuck. If you've got some kind of project half done and your cheap tool has let you down, yeah, you're stuck. You're yeah. You know, a wrench. Yeah, buy a good one, a craftsman at least. Yeah. Um, but socket wrenches, ratchets. Man, when you buy those cheap ones, and they always go on sale at the auto parts store during Christmas. Right. You know, uh, 59,000 piece socket set, <laughs> just $2.99. Yeah. $2.99. That ratchet's going to last you about two spins, and that's it. Right. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, I have a load of Craftsman tools. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not perfect, but when they break, you get a free one. Yeah. But again, if you're in the middle of a job, and your 10 millimeter broke for mm -hmm. the third time, mm -hmm. You go back, you get another one, right. but it is, it's inconvenient. Time consuming. Uh, my All my impact sockets, I've stepped up and I uh, got snap on. Mm -hmm. That stuff, I don't. I think it's indestructible. Yeah. After the nuclear war, 
it'll be cockroaches and snap-on tools is the only thing left. Now, that, will that be cockroaches using snap-on tools? <laughs> they will have evolved, okay, yes. Okay, I yeah. got it. All yeah. right, well, good to keep in mind. Uh, okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Uh, I know it, I did. I, I did, too. I learned a little bit. Uh, also, uh, please give it a like. That's a thumbs up to us. It means a lot. It means a lot to, to uh, YouTube as well. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel by clicking that red bell, and next to it is, I'm sorry, a red box, and next to it is a bell that you can click, and when you do, you get notifications each time one of our shows come out. And just so you know, that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 a.m. on the left coast, 9 a.m. on the right. Mm, opposite. Yep. Oh, is it opposite? Did I yeah, get it? Yeah, it's right, right coast. 6 a.m. Or the left coast. Oh, yeah, left coast, 6 a.m., right coast. It says it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're, you're, you're from the right coast. That's right. Yeah. I am. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> you kidding me? All right. Our email addresses are as follows. Lou at men are so smart. And com. Ronnie at men are so smart com. Send us your emails. Send us your comments below. We get them. We respond to them. And we reply. Uh, and, and we appreciate them. Yep. I'm, I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. See you on the next Men Are So Smart.